Okay, so first things first, don't mind my hair. Um, I'm going to be doing something to it uh, later. I'm going to record a hair tutorial and that will be up in a few days after this video. So yeah, so um, today I just wanted to play around with some browns and pinks and I realized that those two colors definitely complement green eyes. Well, they look good on anyone, but they definitely make green eyes pop. Um, so I really wanted to go with those colors today. And to achieve that look, I am going into the Tarlet and Bloom palette. I know for a fact that I am not the only one who's obsessed with this palette. I mean, these colors are just so gorgeous. And this packaging, I am in love. I really am. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're going to be doing today. So... Let's get started. I am suffering from a sore throat, so um, I'm hoping that I can get to the end of this video. But as per usual, we're going to start by priming our eyes and I'm going in with my CoverGirl concealer stick with a flat brush. And then I'm just going to take my finger to blend it out. My allergies really have been um, acting up lately, especially because of this, uh, this weather change. And this eye has been giving me so many problems. Um, a couple of days ago, I couldn't even keep it open. It was, it was like so bad. But I'm totally better now. Just still trying to get over the entire cold. <laughs> Alright, so the first color that we're going to use. Where is my brush? I'm going to be taking this fluffy brush. And I am going in to uh, this color right here. What color is this? This is called Sweetheart. I'm using that color right there. This is going to be my crease color. Just going to sweep it back and forth. I really want to put it all over the lid and definitely go all the way to the inner corner. To be honest, th this pink is not... Well, it's like a... It's like a mauve pink and it's not really the uh, pink that I'm going for. So I think I'm going to go into another palette just to create the crease. Yeah, it's not, it's not as pink as I would like it. So let's grab another palette. Okay, so I just realized that my BH Cosmetics um, blush and Nutris palette, they have a lot of, a lot of pinks to choose from. So I'm going to... Uh, I think that I am going to take this one. I really like this shimmer in it. I'm going to take that one. Okay, that's better. This one actually shows more true to color and it's the pink that I'm looking for. <clears throat> I'm actually going to build that color on. Not too heavy, but not too light. Take it all the way into the tear duct. Alright, and to even things out, I'm actually going to use the first color from the Tarte palette on this eye. Just to even everything out since I used it on this eye and I didn't wipe it off. Once again, this is Sweetheart um, in the Bloom palette. <clears throat> Blend it really, really well. And then I'm going to take that pink from the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm 
trying to figure out do we want to add some more pink I don't want to be over overpower I don't want it to overpower uh, the, the browns but I definitely want it to come through <laughs> if you guys understand what I'm saying if I usually take this long then <laughs> it means that I need to do it so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more you don't have to but I want to I'm gonna add just a little bit more to each eye I'm just making sure that my camera is recording because I actually tried to record this yesterday and my camera was being a complete asshole. It was not, it just, it just wasn't cooperating with me and it really pissed me off. So I gave up and I said, I'm just going to wait until the morning and try to refilm it. And it's morning now. So, so far so good. I want, I don't want to jinx it. So knock on wood. <clears throat> okay, so now for the lid, I'm going back into the Tartlet palette, and I am going to be taking Rebel. Uh, I don't want to blind you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the, let's put this down just a little bit. Maybe it won't blind you. It's this color right here. Yeah, it's right beside Sweetheart. I'm going to take that one first. But we're going to pack this on to the lid. Try to take it all the way up to your crease. I really have a problem getting straight into my crease. So what I have to do is actually take the brush and dip it into the shadow like this so that it can get on the tip. And then I use the tip to get it into my crease. So yeah, it's, it's a struggle for me, I swear. Why am I closing this eye? <laughs> oh my God, I'm retarded. All right, so now I'm gonna do what I said. I'm going to take the brush and dip it into the shadow. As a matter of fact, let me grab it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the brush and dip it into the shadow like this, just to get it on the tip so that I can get it closer to my crease. Okay, okay, so next I am going to darken or well, deepen the lid a little bit more and I'm going into this color right here. This is Leader and I'm going to pack that on the outer part of my eye and I'm going to push it into the middle, okay? Why are you closing this eye? <laughs> oh my God. I'm only taking this color halfway in, I'm not taking it all the way. I hope you guys can see that that this this eye is darker on the outer and the middle part by adding leader on top of rebel. I'm keeping the inner part um, lighter for a reason, so. Right, so we're going to do it to the same, the next eye. Now to 
um, finish off the lid, I am going to go in with Funny Girl right here. It's like a sparkly, a sparkly light color. And I'm going to put that on top of the brown in the inner corner. That's why I didn't take the darker, the darker brown all the way in. But I'm just using this small, uh, this small flat brush. And I'm just going to wet it just a little bit. And I'm going to take it all the way in. Well, I'm going to take it to meet where that dark brown stops. Alright, so do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so moving on to liner, I am going to be taking my usual, which is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black. And I'm taking a slanted brush like this. You, you guys can do your, uh, your liner as thick or as thin as you would like. I'm going for a fairly medium to large. Well, I'm going for a thicker line today. Cause that's just what I'm feeling. How long is that? Like five minutes? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I told you it takes forever for me to do my liner. I... <laughs> Anyways. And that was another 10 minutes <laughs> this one this eye just it never works with me it takes longer than my right eye all right so now moving on to lashes i am going in with these kiss lashes they are the so wispy number two i got these from my local beauty store i actually want to apply these lashes like up because I really want them to go up and out for a more dramatic look. The glue that I'm using to apply my lashes today, this is called the Super Strong Hold Eyelash Adhesive and Clear. This is by INV, well by KISS, and I got this from my local beauty store and I think it does a great job. It dries really fast as well. Also I love the tip that it has. It's like so much easier to apply the glue onto the strip lash, the strip. Okay, so now moving on to face. I am going in with my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Thank you. 
And for foundation, I am going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the color, where's the color? Oh, 170. And I'm taking my flat top kabuki brush. I'm going to take maybe just two full pumps. That should cover all of my face. Just going to dab it in areas first. Right, and now to set my foundation, I am going in with my Cover Effects Powder in Deep. I am taking my NARS Radiant Concealer in Medium 2. This is which is also called Ginger. Alright, so what I'm going to do before I move on to, found, not foundation, but uh, um, what's it called? Contour? Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye so that I won't have to worry about creasing. Just let that sit. I don't want to put too much. And now for contouring, I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and this is in deep. I'm going to take this flat contour brush from e.l.f., and I'm going into this dark color right here. I'm also going to contour my jawline because I think I have a really round face. And then my temples and forehead. Shout out to the big forehead gang. I've been a member of it since I came out of the womb. And then to add my contour to my nose, I'm actually going to be taking this small brush. Um, I don't know exactly what this brush is called. I've really never seen it. Um, it came with a brush set that I got from eBay. And the brand of this is Vander, V-A-N-D-E-R. I think I told you guys about this, um, this brush set before. But um, like I said, I don't know what this one is called, but it works for me, for my contour, my nose contour. Then I'm going to add just a little bit right here. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to blend out my cheek contours, my forehead, and my jawline with this brush. This is the small stippling brush from e.l.f. I'm going to blend it out in the exact same line that it's in and then I'm going to push it up a bit. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Blend it down first. And then push it up. And then for my temples and forehead, I'm just going to be pushing it in and buffing it out. 
just I want to make sure that my contour and my highlight mesh well with each other and to do that I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and then blend out the jawline All right, so I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and just push like this to make to, to make these um, my contour and my highlight uh, blend. Don't want any harsh lines. I really don't have to use it down here. mostly up here <clears throat> all right so for my nose contour I'm going to be taking this small blending brush right here I don't remember I got where I got this brush set from I think it was also um, eBay it looks like the brand is Jessup, J-E-S-S-U-P. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is how the brush looks. It's a blending brush. This is not going to blend out my contour as much as I would like. So I'm going to go back over it with my beauty blender as I did my, my forehead. So now going into my beauty blender, I'm just going to dab it onto that line to push it in. All right, so now to set the rest of my highlight and set my contour, I'm going back into my Laura Mercier Translu translucent powder. And I'm going to set the rest of my areas, which is my forehead, and down my nose. I'm not going to put that much. It doesn't need that much. I'm going to do the sides of my nose as well. And I'm going to carve out my contour. I don't have to do that much. So what I'm going to do now is dust off the powder that is under my eyes so that I can finish off my eyes. I'm actually going to take this NYX liner pencil in Bloom and I'm going to line my waterline with it. And going back into my Tarte Lip Palette, I'm going to take this small eye crease brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to go into Leader, that last color that we used on the lid, and I'm going to sweep that onto my bottom lash line. Alright, so the last thing for the last thing for the eyes, I'm just making sure my camera is recording. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic. Slow down, Samantha. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic mascara and I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes.
dust off the excess powder. And then we're going to go into blush. I'm going back into my BH palette and I'm going to be going into this color right here. This has been my favorite color out of this palette for blush for a while now. Sometimes it may not look like the blush is really going on to my face on the camera and I don't know why but if you see it in person you can definitely tell. Also at the same time I try not to put a lot of blush on because as, as I said before I already have high cheekbones and I don't want them to stand out that that much. When I smile you can see like these perfect little apple cheeks. Ugh, I hate it. So now going into highlighter I am taking champagne pop uh with my large fluff brush i've been using this brush for a while now to apply my highlighter because i really really like i really really like it Last is lips. I'm going to be using one of my favorite, um, my favorite lip combos, like right now. Um, I'm going to be taking a brown lip liner pencil. I got this from my beauty store and my local beauty store, and this is by Ruby Kisses. I actually like their brand. They're pretty good for a um, drugstore brand. Okay, so as I expected. My camera cut off on me when I was doing my lips, which was the last step. Like, why couldn't it just last until I was done? Uh, but um, what I used was this brown lip pencil that I got from my local beauty store um, from Ruby Kisses. And on top of that, I used Missy Lynn's Cloud 9 lipstick. And then once I applied the lipstick, I went back into the, the brown liner and just outlined my lips again to just clean it up. But... This is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoy watching as much as I enjoy filming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to go and do something with this hair. Stay tuned for the hair tutorial. Bye, guys.